Today's advanced surface dressing process has its origins in the tar spray and chip process of the last century. However, that's where the similarities cease. The modern process is significantly more sophisticated, both in execution and materials used. Plus, technical advances have been made in specialist computer-assisted plant. Today's sophisticated road dressing techniques produce a new and high-quality road surface with tightly specified chippings held in a close mosaic. This brings with it a number of benefits for the engineer and the road user. It waterproofs the surface and protects the foundation of the road. It stops any deterioration that might be taking place. It gives a textured and skid-resistant surface that plays an important role in cutting accident rates, especially in wet weather conditions and on high-speed roads. It's quick, minimising the interference with traffic flow, and from a cosmetic angle, it can give a uniform appearance to a patched surface or even a distinctive colour to a road. Constant progress means that surface dressings have now been developed for a wide spectrum of demanding circumstances. But meeting the specification precisely needs a high level of both expertise and experience. It's vital that every aspect of the complex process should be totally integrated. But meeting the specification precisely needs a high level of both expertise and experience. The role of the contractor is crucial here because the very best of them offer a total service package from initial assessment to aftercare. Surface dressing is regarded as preventative maintenance and carried out by a quality assured contractor as minor surface faults appear, then it can be highly cost effective. But if it is left until there is considerable deterioration, then the cost of preliminary patching can be as much as or even more than the process itself. Surface dressing done at the right time, as shown in Road Note 39 on tables 7, 3, 2 and 3, 3, and done in the right way, can increase the life of the road well beyond its design life. And it can be used on the whole spectrum of road types from single-track country roads with only occasional traffic to the country's busiest roads. Whatever the type of road, the dressing must be carefully designed to get the best performance out of the range of methods and materials that are now available. Emulsion binders are made up of about 70% bitumen mixed with 30% water. They can be used all through the season. The road surface dressing season usually runs from April to September dependent upon local conditions and the binder viscosity must take into account the ambient and road surface temperatures. Select the binder for the job it has got to do and, if it's relevant, the time of year it has got to do it. The guidance in section 5.3 can help you decide on what choice to make backed up by the notes to the tables in section 9. In this particular case, we'll go for an intermediate grade emulsion binder. Cleanliness of chippings is important, which is why washing takes place. The binder and type of chippings are going to be determined by the amount of traffic, the hardness of the present surface, and the skidding resistance required. Traffic embeds chippings continuously, so the heavier the traffic, the larger the chippings needed. Whereas the harder the surface, the smaller the chippings because there will be less embedment. The use of smaller sized chippings and racked in and double surface dressings considerably reduces road traffic noise and is an important factor in the choice of dressing type. And don't forget, each lane may need a different chipping size.